One minute to the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Burchett. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker and Congressman Fox. Thank you so much for your leadership and friendship. You're a pretty cool lady. Madam Speaker, Title IX of the Civil Rights Act was passed to protect women from being unfairly denied opportunities in education and sports. Can you imagine drawing the short stick and having to defend allowing men to compete in women's sports and take trophies from, from young ladies, their chances of even, or even careers away from hardworking female athletes? Of course, the most famous time this happened was when my friend Riley Gaines tied with a man in her swim meet. I say man in very lowercase letters, but she didn't get a trophy because they wanted to give it to him instead. And they also had to suffer the, the punishment of having to see this guy walk around without any clothes on um, and his lack of manhood, I guess. I recently asked Riley about men competing in women's sports in the committee hearing. She said that some men started competing before they were taking hormones. She also said something we already knew. Hormone treatments don't alter a man's bone structure. His lung capacity is high to... Well, that was quick. Can you give me 15? 15 more seconds. Thank you. Or many other attributes that, that give men physical advantages over women. She talked about how allowing men into women's sports endangers their physical safety. We see more instances of this than Democrats in the mainstream media would have you believe. A high school volleyball player got a concussion. We also saw a boxer withdraw from a match to protect herself when she learned her opponent was a biological male. A high school field hockey player had her teeth knocked out. I strongly support protecting female athletes and rejecting this rule by an administration that has completely abandoned them. Thank you, Madam Speaker.